Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Wednesday the 17th of April. Last night we had a meet, or our first triangular for uh, the boys and girls both had their meet. The boys had it here in Winona, the girls had it over in uh, Rochester Mayo. So really, that went pretty good. Um, I don't really have a lot of footage from uh, yesterday's meet. I do have some of the races that my dad took of me. Um, doing the 16, the 800, and stuff like that. But yeah, those went, those went actually really good for a first triangular. Monday, we just had a regular pre-meet day. Today, we'll just have a true recovery day, which I'm pretty excited for because we haven't had a true recovery day for a long time. Yesterday, we had our Carter, Cody, and I, we all did the 1600, then the 800, and then we did the 4x4, and that was, the worst part about it, I would say. Um, I had a 430 in the 1600, which I'm really happy about. I haven't gotten to do a fresh 1600 since last year. So Carter and Cody did pretty good on that too. What else? We had the 800, which is right after that. Cody won that with a, with a great battle at the end. Um, shout out to Cody Peterson. Uh, yeah. Then the 4x4 came around, 4x4 came around, and we, hit, we were all pretty tired by then, so. Um, I had a 56, then Carter had a, or Cody had a 55, or no, Carter had a 55, then Cody had a 54. So, that's, I, yeah, it was a pretty good meet. Um, I'm not sure how the girls did. I'll probably find out today at practice. So. That's the meet on Tuesday. The girls meet on Thursday from in Farmington got canceled because they moved it to two or yesterday. So that didn't happen for them. Or not, that, that's not gonna happen for them. For the rest of the week though, we get some workouts that we have, threshold type workout. Hey guys, back from Wednesday practice today. It's all rainy outside, not looking good. Uh, but we had a pretty good one. Just a true recovery run. We haven't had one of those for a while. So that went good, we just went around the lakes. Um, so yeah, slower than usual. Well, I guess we didn't really go slower than usual, but that's that's what we did today. Um, some water walking, it really helps. I highly recommend it, because um, it's just been helping out a whole lot with the legs, especially after yesterday's meet, uh, doing those those three events. Um, yeah, it really, it really helped. That was Wednesday's practice. Tomorrow we'll just have a longer-ish run with some hills worked into it. And then Friday we got a workout, so that's that's the plan for the week. And then Saturday is just a long run. So yeah. Hey guys, just got back from Thursday practice. Uh, we had uh, just a long run, or I guess not really long run, but 50 minute run today. Um, we went to Woodlawn Cemetery, got some hills in. It was a pretty good one. Uh, pretty consistent pace. I got a 182 today for cadence. So feeling good. We have a workout tomorrow. That's gonna be a threshold workout with a little bit of speed at the end, um, just to stimulate or simulate what's gonna be like at the end of races. So, yeah, uh, when you're tired and stuff like that, that's when the speed stuff comes in. So that's what we're trying to do tomorrow. Uh, I might be qualifying for the Hamlin Elite Meet in my two mile um, that I got at uh, Mankato. Uh, that 9:49. Um, if they don't get times, or they, if they don't accept times from last year, then I'm I'm pretty much a golden for it. Um, I'll definitely be in it if that happens. If they still are accepting times from last year, then it's going to be like a close close race, depending on um, uh, who's all doing what. If people are doing the mile, or like if other competition, or if other competition is doing like the 1600. Uh, whichever one they want to do so it's gonna be close if I do get in but I'm excited for that even if I don't get into that we have a meet next week Tuesday and Saturday and that's gonna be uh, awesome so that's it for today uh, see you guys later hey guys so this week on Colton's running advice we're gonna be talking about my injury this past cross-country season and how it affected my training and how I sort of bounced back from it. So to start off, I've never really had a major injury. I mean, I've had 
injuries where I've been out for like two weeks, three weeks, but those went by pretty quickly. So like you just get on the bike, do some cross training and it, it all went better. And it all started when on a Saturday, um, I know we did the 30 minute drill that day. And at that point I was feeling like, I was still feeling like good and my legs were fine and stuff like that. But when I got done with that workout, I got done with my cool down and I was just feeling a little like sore, I guess, like more sore than usual. Um, so I was just, I just played it off sort of like how I would play off any other soreness throughout the week. So that, so I went through that and then I had two days of work in a row um, at High V, and I was just standing around the whole time and I guess that sort of, I just felt like worse than usual at High V, and my legs made my knees especially um, and the back of my hamstrings, uh, stuff like that. So the on, moving on to um, the Monday after I worked two days in a row, we were doing an inside run because it was pouring rain outside and stormy and stuff like that. And then during during the the warm ups that we do, the dynamic warm ups, I was doing the skips and they weren't my legs just weren't feeling right. And they just my knees and the back of my knees just didn't feel like perfect, I guess. But I thought it was just like because we hadn't ran on Sunday and I worked on two days before, so I just I just played it off a little bit more. So we did that run and I was just, it just felt so weird through the whole time. And it wasn't necessarily like pain, it just was like I was running sort of with weird form and like with my like back and hips pushed back. So like my hamstrings felt tight or they looked like they were tight. Um, so after that, we did another, on Tuesday, we did another just regular run and it was around the lakes and I still was feeling it. And so on the third day, on Wednesday, I told my coach, hey, this is this is not feeling good. This, for the past two days, I haven't been running correctly, I guess, in, in my in my regular running form. So, so after I told the coach that, we sort of just put myself on the bike for a while, hoping that you know, it's just a regular injury, maybe a week, week and a half, it might get better. So then I we did that. And after a week and a half, it felt like better than it was before. So I decided to run again. And at this point, the my the home meet was coming up, my home, my final home meet for cross country was coming up. And I really wanted to run that, um, but it just didn't happen because I was, after I ran, uh, after a week and a half of doing biking, it just didn't happen because my legs were still feeling crap. So I guess that's the, the beginning of it. So I had a choice to make at that point. Do I want to focus purely on recovery or do I want to finish up my senior season because it is my senior season? So obviously you, you probably know what the choice was. I finished up my senior season, um, not really worrying about what it might do to my future. And it, it was just a horrible, horrible experience practicing. I never, I f it looked good in races and it felt good in races, but that was pretty much purely adrenaline. But I finished up not getting what I wanted, which was a sub 16, 5K. You know, it just sort of sucked. So under, under swim season, I was really, ho I was really looking forward to swim season because I knew um, usually after three months, four months of training, it might finally get better from from like not pounding on the ground the whole time. So get through swimming season, it was all right. Like sometimes I would feel it, but I was just, you know, I just played it off like it was nothing really. So then I get done with my swimming season and we're out for a run again and first couple days felt good it just wasn't like I felt good running back in my regular form at about three days four days in it starts to hurt again and I was devastated by this I, I don't know like it's just like it just I just wanted it to be done I just wanted the injury to be done and I just like this is this was after three months of training so three months of like not doing anything outside, pounding on the ground. So what I did after this is 
I just stopped running for a week and I decided, okay, I'm gonna intensely stretch. I'm gonna recover as fast as possible. I'm gonna ice. I'm gonna do all this other stuff that I know will probably work on it. I just worked before on other injuries. So throughout this whole time, I've been, I was seeing Mr. Jacobs. So you guys know my, our athletic trainer. I was seeing our athletic trainer and he recommended a whole bunch of stretches and sometimes like I would do, or I would do them every night. So I was training or I was recovering pretty, pretty well, I'd say. Um, but it just didn't, it just didn't happen. So we tried something else. Since it was taking so long to recover and finally, like it still didn't recover after the swimming season. So since it took that long, we figured it was something to do with a mechanical error. So my running form. And that, that's where uh, it brings us to the start of track season when I started running or trying to run with a greater cadence and a greater midfoot strike than I had before. So many of you guys know I'm a pretty avid, or I used to be a pretty avid heel striker. That's just always how I, how I ran because that's just how I ran, it was natural. So uh, when we started to transition into midfoot striking, I was sore. Like that was, my calves were never that sore because I just never ran solely on my toes and midfoot. So the thing is you have, in order to, I guess, land on that midfoot, you have to increase your cadence count. And so by like steps per minute. So I've been doing that the whole time and the whole, my whole training up until like this point has been talking about cadence training and increasing my steps per minute, so I'm going a little bit faster and a little bit faster each step. Um, so far, that's worked out really great. So I'm hoping that it doesn't come back at all. Um, I'm still stretching, I'm still doing the things that are good for preventative measures, strengthening all my muscles and my legs, and just hoping that it doesn't come back for a long time, or at least until I, uh, I get used to this midfoot striking thing. So yeah, that's that's how I sort of transitioned to midfoot striking in my injury story. So see ya. Hey guys. Uh, today's Friday afternoon and this morning we had our uh, threshold workout which was 20 minutes out and then back faster. That was actually the fastest time that we came back faster that I've ever had. So that was good. Um, then we had just 100, 125, 150, 175 and 200 to finish it off with some speed stuff. Um, then we had the regular weight room, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this week went pretty good. Tomorrow we have like a long, longish run, and I did find out that the Hamlin Elite, Hamlin Elite meet is only accepting times from this year, which is golden for me. So that means I have a very good chance of actually making it into that, and that'll be on this Friday. So I won't be able to run the DMR on Saturday, which is sort of sad. But you know, I've always wanted to run in the Hamlin Elite meet, so. That's just been a goal of mine for a long time. So, yeah, uh, see you guys later. Hey guys, uh, today's Saturday, and just got done from the long run that we had today and the pancake breakfast that our coach hosted. Long run went really good. We had like an hour and five minutes was the was what we were going for, and we made that. We just went around. Uh, go to like the cane area and then turn around there um, so that was that today and then we got some a good treat when we got to go to our coach's house and eat some pancakes and eat some sausage and bacon so feeling up after the practice so yeah that's pretty much it uh, this week with in the review it was pretty good I had a uh, good meet on Tuesday and 
the Hamlin meet is coming up. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. Excited for next week. And there's nothing really else. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, see you guys next week. And that's it. Thanks.